For the second time this week, a Yellow Jacket wins the OAC Swimmer of the Week. We had one on the men's side, and we're fortunate to have freshman Ellie Thorson, her first career OAC Swimmer of the Week award. Congratulations. Thank you. Pretty cool to, uh, to make an impact that big right away as a, as a freshman. What's it been like for you in your first year of the program? Honestly, it's been different because, like, coming from a high school team, we all were close, but this, just coming here, everybody was so friendly, and we all had a really good relationship with each other, and all the girls were here to do the same thing I was, to make records happen and good things, so it was exciting. Was there a point where you realized that there is a certain comfort level, or, or did it all just sort of take some time to click for you? At first, it did take like a little time, you know, because there was a lot of like older girls, and I wasn't so close with like the freshmen yet. But as time like went, we all got into our lanes and we kind of all like warmed up towards each other and we all became really close quickly. Very cool. Allie primarily swims the butterfly and the freestyle and the team just came back from their spring break trip down in Florida where they competed most recently against Widener University from Pennsylvania. She had a successful, uh, a successful trip. You, uh, you won the 500 yard free and the runner up and the 100 yard IM. Anything in particular about those two races that, uh, that you really enjoy? Well, I love them both, but the 500 is my like my event that I'll probably be swimming at OACs and whatnot. But I, I was happy that I you know did well. But time wise, it was good. But I know that OAC, if it's there now, it's gonna get better at OACs. So I, it was exciting. But I just sure. I know that there's gonna be better opportunities. Well, so. well, when you think about the OAC championship events that are that are coming up here in really just a few short weeks, mm -hmm. how much of that is on your mind as you're swimming throughout the course of the year, or are you still just trying to take things one meet at a time? No, I have been thinking about OAC since like the very beginning, and now that it's so close, it's like I know it's going to be here, and I know that Laura has a plan, I have a plan, and I think it's going to be really well. Allie's had a tremendous uh, season so far in the pool, but she's also starting her, uh, her educational career and she's trying to get into early childhood education. Do you have any goals in mind as to where you want to take that? I, um, well, I love kids, so that starts off first. I've always wanted, like, since I was little, I was like, I want to be a teacher, I want to work with younger kids. Um, no, as long as I get, you know, a good job when I'm done with all this and wherever they take me, I'll go. Is, is that something where you're looking maybe at some point to get an internship along the way or is it yeah. part-time work out of school? No, uh, an internship would be nice. You know, okay. if it came along the way, I would definitely go do that. Sure. And how about as, as a freshman? I think it, there's the overarching idea that, okay, I'm, I'm done with high school and now I'm on to my college career. How big was it uh, of an adjustment for you academically to get ready for the rigors of going through a full semester? At first, I was super nervous because I was like, I don't, you know, high school was, you know, back and forth classes. You didn't really have time to think. You just... Did it, and then here it's so spread out. Some days you would have more classes, and but as it the first week went by, I was just like, okay, I can do this. You know, writing everything down was good for me, so I made tips, and it worked out really well. You get a lot of free time. Yeah. <laughs> you got to manage yourself. Yes, you do. <laughs> not about that. When when you look at um, kind of the way your schedule has has taken its its shape, if you will, how easy was it, or how much help did you get? Uh, in trying to build that schedule around what you're doing with swimming? I got lucky and the advisor that I have is awesome and she was really understanding with my swimming and school because you know the whole like a lot of the education classes happened to be night so we kind of had to like work it where it wasn't too much for me but it worked with the whole swimming and it it's turned out great like first semester was awesome and starting second semester it's really going by good. Glad to hear it. That's yeah. awesome. Allie's from Amherst. So she's a West Sider in the Cleveland area, so kind of feels like home a little bit. You're not too far oh, away from home. <laughs> Mom and Dad have a chance to come see you oh, swim. All the time. My That's dad awesome. doesn't miss the swim meet, so it's great. <laughs> Congratulations to Allie Thorson, her first career OAC Swimmer of the Week. Thanks.